Hi, this is Bertie Bird, and I'm back with D2, and we've got Rosemary for our botanical witches. Um, and I'm going to start by uh, basically marking out these lines a little bit more clearer. Originally, I did the outline all in biro. Um, and now I'm just using a simple uni pin fine liner to uh, make these lines more prominent. So hopefully. Yeah, um, I would say I quite enjoyed drawing this one. I, I did put the focus on the flower, of course, um, as well as my uh, Rosemary Witch, but, oh, sorry about that. My uh, rig, I've got the camera set up on, is kind of in my way, <laughs> but yeah, I'll make, I'll make do. Right, I will be using a Pentel pocket brush pen to go over much of uh, these lines, but right now I'm just kind of uh, going to clear up some of these. As it was done very sketchily as uh, it was part of the planning. Originally, this leaf here, I was going to make it the witch's hand, uh, witch's arm, and, and and basically the witch's limb. But I decided to change that, like after I drew it. I don't know why. I thought it actually would have been a really cool touch to have the witch as the actual rosemary plant. Eh, you never know. Next time. Uh, say next time but probably won't be doing this one next time I'm um, just saying it, it's my first time to do an Inktober um, my first IG account was my personal one so I didn't really do any art um, I only got back into art this February 2018 so I think I took a near 10 or more year hiatus in drawing um, this is another story altogether, but anyway, I'm drawing now. Um, hopefully, I can finish this challenge like the whole month because it seems very, very fun. Um, quite excited by it. Well, I do like fun challenges. And so far I'm enjoying it, but, you know, day two, I've heard how it can be very, very tough, and I'm not surprised. Um, I am making everything as simple as possible, because <coughs> I do have my own uh, <coughs> job, so I, I, I do work, and it's not art related, so um, when I I do participate in challenges like this or do any art, it's um, within my own time. So, I hope everyone else who's participating is having a heap of fun. And, um, yeah, you know, let me know if you're also participating. I'll come check yours out, uh, like your picture, because I'm pretty sure it's going to look absolutely amazing. And, you know, well done to everyone else who is participating. And those who aren't, you know, um, 
next time, right? Or whenever you can. Be nice. <clears throat> okay, so I've laid down the foundation. One moment. We came back. I've got my brush pen. Um, yesterday I filled it up with ink, put in a new ink cartridge because I had problems. Oh, actually, I want to look at that. Um, I had problems previously with mine. Uh, I'm not sure whether I've come in too soon with what I'm planning to do, but I guess I'll have to do. Rosemary is uh, quite a lovely name, really, isn't it? So I kind of wanted to do a witch that could possibly look quite attractive, as such. Um, yeah, so uh, as I haven't really thought, you know, too deeply in. And how I was going to do this picture, I'm just kind of like um, winging it. <laughs> so you'll have to bear with me as I work out what I'm going to do. And hopefully, you know, it's going to turn out okay. So, um, why don't you tell me what your favourite theme was for this Inktober? Like I say, I'm doing the Botanical Witches, um, as I wanted to do something that was, you know, more Halloween based. As I know some of them, um, they were kind of not so much. Uh, I think the official one was not kind of that interesting to me. I suppose you could try theme everything that was in the topic towards it, but it just, mm, it just, I didn't get any feels from it. So uh, I like witches. Uh, one of my OCs is a witch, so I um, I thought that this challenge would be fun. Uh, I also watched uh, Mary and the Witch's Flower, and that was great. If you haven't seen that, check that out. It's fantastic. Um, it's like, reminds me of the days of Ghibli. So I do want to minimalise the amount of colours I use, and I haven't got a wash colour as such so mainly I'll use blacks and I am using only a small choice of um, like markers that I'll, I'll uh, use for just to bring out certain aspects The rest of it, I'm going to try to keep it to just kind of using ink, uh, like, well it's all ink, but um, kind of brush and pen, but hey, let me know how you're doing it, you know. Okay, so, uh, I have to be careful, because <laughs> it's wet. I've got to work kind of around it, otherwise I'll have it all over my hands. I should have worked on this side first, as you'll notice. Um, I'm now having to avoid where I've literally inked. So with that in mind, um, <laughs> when you get around to doing yours, if you see this beforehand, uh, work <laughs> choose the work uh, load that you're doing um, that is beneficial to you rather than uh, like me I'm just working a little bit ad hoc <laughs> uh, 
Uh, never mind. It's just the way it is, right? Um, still trying to figure out how I'm going to do this piece. Yeah. If you're doing botanical witches, which one which day are you most excited about? I had a quick look and I was thinking, hmm, I'm not sure. I I'm 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 kind of excited about um henna. Uh the henna witch. I think it might be to do with um, as I was growing up. Um, there was a lot of girls that uh, I'd met from my college days in school that, you know, during certain festival times, um, like weddings and stuff like that, that they'd like gone to, or um, I, I don't know which, uh, which festivals itself um, they'd also be celebrating, but they would... Um, get henna girls, Asian girls who get henna tattoos on their hands and arms. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay. Right, <sighs> almost done with this. I'm sorry for the silence. I was actually kind of just, you know, zoning out there. Okay, so one moment. Okay, so I'm back. Just had to choose a colour. Now, I I didn't try this colour yesterday, and I'm hoping it's not too bright. In fact, uh, this one is going to be relatively perfect, actually, for the layout. Now, I have mentioned it yesterday, and I'll mention it again today, that um, Biro is not alcohol marker proof. A little bit of bleed. It's very much going to run with it. Um, sometimes you can get quite decent effects, so um, other times it just makes it mm, slightly less desirable, should I say? But you know, I think that depends on who's using it. Some people might like it. Uh, for me, I'm going to have to hold this page down. Uh, for me, I haven't been using alcohol markers long enough to really decide because I use I use the Biro a lot. Um, I've not really experimented with it to see what kind of effects I'll get or anything like that. I just know it kind of um, bleeds a little bit, spreads with the alcohol marker. Um, not necessary is a bad thing, but then again, it, if you wanted really crisp, clean lines, it's not going to be very nice. But then again, you know, I suppose it depends how you want to work. Uh, I'm not the 
the, I'm not the one with the most cleanest lines anyway, so I'm not so fast. And I like the freedom and how loose uh, working with Biro uh, can be. It feels really good, you know. Right, I don't think this is exactly exactly the colour I want, but for outline, it's very nice. I have to be careful with that. Right. So uh, I'm going to use it for the outline and then I use another colour. So this alcohol marker is a uh, touch. Is it a touch new or? Yeah, it's a touch new. Um, it's not going to be as good as. Copic because most Copic markers know all the new ones. It's the brush end, and uh, that's quite good. Um, this bullet nib, I suppose, it's meant to, it should be better for like more slightly accurate pictures, but you know, accurate lines. Um, I mean, you can see I've just bled all the way over, I'm not really too fast by that. Um, it's probably really because the paper I'm using is just a, quite a toothy, uh, uh, what have I got? Oh, my brain's gone all on. Um, I'm trying to concentrate at the same time as talk. Not so great. Um, it's a toothy coming to me. Kosher paper. Oh my god. Yes, I know. What happened there? Uh, yeah, so it's kind of quite toothy cartridge paper. <coughs> right. So, I've got those out of the way, and here we go. Yeah, as you can see, this is considerably darker. And you're not going to get any tone on this paper. It literally, this is why I've got uh, the backing of another sketchbook, just so it doesn't bleed into my next page. Uh, so I've only got a limited amount of pages in the sketchbook, and if I waste too many of them, then I won't have enough days, pages for all the days in uh, Inktober. So. Hundred and fifty GSM, the weight of the paper, and um, sometimes you can get depending on the paper, but because it's just cartridge, um, it's just going to bleed over. All right, maybe I should have done that. With the light color. Right. Okay. I'll need it for the next one. Uh, see, I'm still working things out for it, <laughs> so you just forgive me, I'm kind of like thinking and working on the spot. Um, I know it would help to have planned or had some sort of like, kind of did-ish, you know, like I had a kind of colour plan in, in mind. Um, but hey, you know. Ooh, the bleeding, you can just see it, it's a, uh, just runs. I suppose when, I, when I'm working, I'm working a bit slow, aren't I? So that's probably why. Oh, um, in case I didn't get to see it, thank you all for watching, uh, thank you for liking, uh, you know, thank you for those who subscribe, um, or follow whichever media you're seeing this on, you know, um, do appreciate and I'm very grateful for it. Thank you.
I'll, I'll probably mention it towards the end anyway. So um, I'll try to anyway. So uh, yeah. Just to also say, um, if you got this far, well done. <laughs> uh, I'm working on a zine. I'm hoping to release early 2019. It will feature my ACs, as I have a, a fair amount of them. There'll be like a little comic kind of thing to, to introduce it to you. Right. Oh, sorry about that. I'm leaning on the camera rig as I'm using my camera phone to film as well. I made this little rig quite handy um, using a selfie stick and a clamp. So yeah, it's nifty, uber cheap. I bought the Clamp was pretty actually, clamp wasn't cheap at all, but the, uh, um, the selfie stick was, selfie stick was like a quid, that's like pretty darn cheap. You saw my early videos, I used to hold it by hand and it was incredibly difficult to my task. Now, um, because of it, because of this rig, it's it's much more easier. I can hold the page, I can colour, I can work a lot faster, I can talk. Um, of course other people might have better, you know, solutions. But uh, my budget and my experimentation of like doing art videos, um, it's just right for me for now. But you'd never know in the future. As um, this is just my hobby, I know I mention it all the time, but for those who've never seen the video, or don't know me and my art, um, yeah, all my art is just kind of hobby stuff, um, stuff that I love, that's why it's, that's why I do it, um, I don't make any money out of it, <laughs> maybe a plan to in, in the future, I say, um, I think of doing a zine, and hope, hopefully people will be interested in it, uh, they will like it, and I could always put out Let's put up more. Yeah. At the moment, I'm still creating a body of work, um, and I may, uh, depending on how, if I'm able to finish, and if these look good enough. Maybe I might even uh, do a mini zine with my Inktober because I know other people do it. And I'm hoping mine's going to be on the level. <sighs> on the end, I'm trying to work as fast as I can. Uh, my phone memory is approaching critical mass. Right, back to to pen and ink, brush pen ink. Okay, so oh, this is difficult for me to support of my own limb. I love how smooth this brush pen is. I remember first using it, I was like, wow. Mistake, 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 mistake. And then I was using it and I was like, oh wow, I'm getting better. And then mistake, mistake, mistake. And it takes so much time. And sometimes 
the lines are just what I want and other times oh my god I just need more practice I suppose uh, Inktable should give me plenty oh sorry leaning on the camera rig again right I am approaching right I was going to leave a little bit of like a shine there but oh, I just thought nah. okay this isn't exactly kind of what I wanted to do but hey it's Inktober so inking away It's probably a mistake is where my brush stroke choices are. And I should think about them a little bit more to get the desired kind of Hmm. It's leaving me to do with ideas of what to do here. Right, okay, I'm going to move on to the next bit of this, and that is my option of eyes. Okay, and I know the nose. Oh dear, went over the lips. A little bit of bleed. Absolutely fine. It's all good, it's all good. We didn't notice that. Eyes are very delicate. That's the thing, if you mess up the eyes, that's it, really. So, oh, we're going with a brush on the lips to reshape it. Success. Are we on success? I would say so. There we go. Okay, so quite like that. Hands itself. Um, I am going to use a different one. Right, so this one is another P touch, but I think it's the, uh, sorry, new touch, touch new, I mean, but it's uh, an older one. Uh, it's also a warm grey. So for the eyes, I use a warm grey. Um, Didn't want to leave the hands um, you know, not doing anything. I think I'll go for those in hand. Right, we're almost finished. Almost finished. Thank you so much all for for watching. Um, you know, it means a great deal to me. Thank you all for liking, thank you for, you know, subscribing, following, for all the support, appreciate it all, um, you know, if you want, leave a comment, I'm going to finish up by, so I would love to actually colour those um, lilac, but, uh, you know, sort of colour. 
but I don't think I will. I think I'll um, I'll not do that. And yeah. Um, this is probably my longest video yet. I'm not sure whether it's because I don't know. I haven't planned everything, but. It's uh, it's been quite enjoyable. Yeah. So thanks again. This has been my Rosemary Witch, and I am Bertie Bird. Thank you all. Take care.